Alrighty, I got a little bit of an odd hardware thing. Uh, I have a new Sketch 1212 HR2 sent to NASA to somebody that didn't seem to really use it. And in a high Sketch 1212, this one seems to be uh, actually a generation prior to that because it actually has on the front. Talk about Windows for pen computing extensions. Whereas this doesn't really talk about it, it also, also has uh, Windows 95 mentioned at the front. I wish I got the manual for this one because this one I haven't been able to find any information about. This one I found the manual, like a Windows 2000 driver possibly even, and a couple other things, but it's not as important, it's just interesting. Because if this actually made it the Windows for pen computing, like this Windows 3.1, that would that would have been an interesting uh, thing to install and look at and everything. This is the older one. And you notice how it has probably column and row registers on all along the edges of the surface here. And it has traces going down each way <laughs> for all the lines this one here is a thousand line um it's a uh, with the box set anyway there's a thousand line tablet this one here is the new sketch has a just has a control board the control board has two ribbon cables going to a metal paint plane which is probably has all the lines through it on its own and I think that the registers are all here. It's possible they may not be. I haven't really lifted, tried to lift this up or anything yet, but it seems that this would be the, if anything's on here, it's probably just to essentially encode it to be able to be read by the chips over here. Whereas this one here, everything's going to a chip, to a chip, to a chip, to a chip, and all the way down. Yeah, and I mean, it's the same kind of... Let's see, we've got, like, it's this... Uh, it's been a while. I guess this is, like, a CD... Uh, CD4051. It's probably just, like, a multiplexer kind of thing. This is a MC1405. I'm sure you can find a... Oh, these are... Now this one's an MC1405. This one's slightly different. No, oh, this is probably this chip over here. The 74HC. Yeah, this is the 74HC. <laughs> but it's like MC1405 instead of 4501BE or whatever. <laughs> It was a smaller roller. <laughs> Whereas this is probably oh I can't rec I don't recognize this symbol C D. It might even be Yeah, I'm not even I can't it's not, I'm drawing a blank on that. But I do believe this is a multiplexer. I can't remember exactly, or it might have been a NAND. This, this is a logic. This is a simple logic gate or something like that, where it, it'll it'll take in all this information from all these chips, or this four chips here, or this five chips. No, that's a different chip, and probably sort it together so that the microprocessor can read it. This here, it looks like the microprocessor is a. Uh, like an off-the-rack thing. Here they have their own logo on it, at least. Yeah, it still might be off-the-rack, but it looks like they put a little more effort in that one. See how they have a hardwired uh, serial port on this one? This one has a hardwired cable. <laughs> Comes out to serial port. Has a power plug in the serial port. The uh, plug here, 
and the plug got moved from here all the way over to here. There's no dip switches on this side. There's dip switches on this one for some reason. I need the manual for this so I can actually figure out what the dip switches even do. There is a, I believe, a reset button right here, and this is the power button. And the reset button and the power button haven't moved. Part of that is probably due to the fact that it looks like they didn't really change the shape of the back shell very much. Like this is the um, old one. You can see it's this is just a spot for the dip switch and the cursor. And on the new one, you get this silly nonsense where they kind of like cut it out further less for, it's, it's a little unclear they clearly modified this part of it and then they just kind of put little rubber stoppers on the side <laughs> where the holes are just thought it was interesting partly because i can't seem to get this one to work properly i don't know what it is it's acting like you get the power isn't coming through cleanly or something Whereas this one here works, but it comes out, but the power, the cord I have comes out to a, a larger, uh, I forget what it was, like 25 pan serial instead of, oh, hey, that might be a problem. Is that a pin stuck in there? Jeez. All right, well, let me see if that'll help. Should not happen.